All right, Gary, and how much money do you want to spend in the outfield? All the money. Yeah, let's Why go. Not? Let's money go. Money is no option on this segment. Um, Jordan Alvarez, really, really nice spot tonight against Zach Plezak. Zach Plezak is terrible. Um, this is someone who gives up <laughs> so many home runs, and he just does not generate any swings and misses, particularly against left-handed batters. He has struck out just 12% of the lefties he has faced so far this season. He's also giving up two home runs per nine within the split. Jordan Alvarez is not someone you want to be going up against without the ability to get a swing and miss. Because if he makes contact more often than not, it is a hard hit baseball. He also has a 425 isolated power against right-handed pitchers so far this season. I mean, the odds of him hitting a home run tonight, I just think are astronomical. So I think Jordan Alvarez, even at his price point, which is 5,600, a really nice play. Okay, who's a really nice play in the outfield, Steve? Yeah, $100 more, Mookie Betts at 5,700. This is someone who has double-digit fantasy points in three straight games, and then you consider the matchup that he has tonight. Like, he is absolutely locked in at this point. 28, 18, and 20 DraftKings fantasy points over his last uh, uh, three games here. He's also on a seven-game hitting streak right now, hitting atop of that Dodgers order. If you're stacking the Dodgers, you're obviously going to start with Mookie Betts here, but when he gets locked in at the plate, he is one of the scariest scariest dudes to face uh, when you're on the mound. So when you have the pitcher that they have going tonight for the Nationals in gray uh, and you have Mookie Betts and then the rest of that lineup here, 5,700, I think you lock in Mookie Betts tonight. Don't even really make it an issue.